look who we run into here, run into the funniest of people in the funniest of places. Uh, you guys, end of the 2014 IndyCar season, I would say, was pretty darn strong. You seem to like Victor Lane quite a bit. This guy over here found in the last race. Fun watching you drink some Fuzzies vodka on the podium and try not to uh, let that come back up. Uh, tell me about the start of 2015. Uh, I know you guys do not want uh, a slow progression. You guys want to ramp up right away. Yeah, I think, you know, the biggest thing for us is <clears throat> obviously we finished the season well. I think we won what, the last three of four races and, and obviously TK going out on top and winning the last race. Um, you know, it was always nice nice to soak in, you know, in, in the long off season that we've had. So I, I don't know, for us, you know, obviously it was it was Tony's first year to the team and, and uh, he, you know, had the right to, to get up to speed and see how things work. But on our side of the team, we really struggled for, for the first half. So I think for us, you know, the emphasis is, uh, you know, basically just to hit the ground running and make sure they were competitive uh, from the very first race. TK, you're going to have some fun with uh, the talented Todd Malloy coming over from uh, one of the teams, uh, Indy 500 winning uh, engineer yourself, Indy 500 winner. Uh, how do you think that relationship is going to pay off? I think it's going to be, you know, great. I, I believe that, uh, you know, we shuffle things around in the team just to, uh, to try to make things better. Uh, I've worked with Todd uh, the first couple tests that we did, and, uh, you know, obviously we, we didn't send anybody home, so it's still the same people around. We, they just shuffled who you talk to directly, but all the engineers are still around, and we're still making decisions together. So, uh, you know, for me, like Dixon said, uh, the first year was quite of a big change for me, and and especially I came in with big expectations and uh, we struggle with as a team we struggle for the first part but uh, if you look at the second half of the season we were talking about it that we if you put those points together we would have finished one and two in the championship so the biggest key right now is to go to Brazil and and, and start the season the way we we finish which is uh, you know one two and uh, and go from there Dix, uh, part of that engineering shuffle, you're going to have the guy, the, the race engineer with the best Twitter handle in the world, at Pushy Loose, good old Chris Simmons. Uh, what's it going to be like working with that guy? Yeah, no real change. I've worked with Chris before. Uh, obviously, when when him and Eric, you know, it's it's been a you know a long time for myself and Eric, and you know, he's a he's a great and true friend. And and you know, when I first heard the news, it was it was hard. Um, but you know, obviously, he's still with the team, which is which is very important. He's a very smart, intelligent guy, and someone that we need to keep there. Uh, and then with Chris, it's an easy transition. You know, we've we've either worked together for the last ten or twelve years, or we've sat across the table from each other. So, um, you know, we always work together the 24 hour here uh, when, when Chris engineers the car and you know we have a lot of fun so it's uh, you know it, it will be interesting to see how it evolves I think um, you know we've, we've you know we're going through the season and, and, and with the new cars and error kits and all that kind of stuff but uh, definitely looking forward to the season um, but as I said and Tony said much emphasis on, on starting the season right last question I had for you guys so you're here we're late January you're running races season started early compared to IndyCar you're, you've got you've been building the new house he's got a new son are you guys gonna need a vacation before the the indy car season starts we, we don't have those anymore we're talking about we actually take vacations uh during the season that we have a weekend off that's when we actually do it uh, you know uh I was talking to Dixie about it. It's funny because you try to plan a kid, which is like almost impossible to do. But I actually got it right, right? So I said, you know, off season, and then uh, obviously uh, this thing came along, and uh, you know, it's 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 a great great event. But uh, yeah, between the baby and, and moving houses in the winter for Dixie, I I, I don't know uh, who was busier. But uh, you know, we're, we're here. The wives are taking care of the real things. Actually, you know, we're here having fun. At least you'll get some sleep now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're I'm away from home. Don't fine, tell honey. your wife that. Just say, oh, man, we're working so hard. We've been up all night. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys.